welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the boobs that's it the breast and before we get into the video if you're new here thanks for stopping by if you're old thanks a lot for coming back again if you haven't subscribed to my channel just make sure you subscribe and then just get into the video to begin with what are boobs what are they like October, I mean pink, we were talking about breast cancer, boobs everywhere. Nobody was not so long ago, everybody was seeing boobs everywhere and all. So we are going to be talking a whole lot about boobs, okay? So what are the boobs? Boobs um in science they are called mam o that's M A M M hyphen O. The O comes and goes. We have mast, M A S T and we have M A Z. So in science we have different ways of pronouncing breast. The breasts are just tissues that overlie, that are on top of the chest muscles. So if you say on top of the chest muscle, that means men have breasts. Women also have breasts. Yes. The only difference is that women have um, a special tissue that's supposed to be helping in milk production and men don't. So that's the only difference. So aside those ones, we have the fat tissue also attached to it so we have the milk producing tissue and then the fat tissue so the mammary gland has um, parts okay and then the part is called lobe sections it's called lobes and then those lobes are 15 to 20 in every boob yes no matter the size they are 15 to 20 so the fat tissue that actually dependent determines how big the boob is. Uh, aside that we have the nipple and the areola, that's what we can see. Like the whole big part of the boob is made up of the mammary gland and then the fatty tissue. Then we have the nipple and the areola you can see outside. I'm not going to talk about what's on the inside. So that's basically it. And then it's supported by connective tissues and muscles and ligaments that keep it in shape. These are connected to it, especially the nipple and the areola have a lot of nerve endings. Then we have blood vessels also supplying blood to the breast so we're going to talk about the shapes of breast there are over 12 shapes of breast and those are determined by genetics genetics most of the time people are more prone to having saggy boobs some people have not even lost so much weight but they already have saggy boobs naturally and some people have given birth breastfed but they still have pecky boobs that is nature weight being another factor that affects the shape of the boob we have exercise like as i said earlier you can exercise to make your boobs back yeah we have age we have pregnancy and we have breastfeeding also breastfeeding tendency to make the boobs sag even the fact that you've got pregnant alone the boobs change in size and in shape and all of that there are also different types of nipples in areola we have the puffy the hairy the flat there's so many we are making so much noise about boobs in october because of breast cancer and breast cancer is basically a cancer that affects the breast okay and the cancer is the overgrowth of um the cells that are already supposed to be there decide that they want to grow too much so that's basically what a cancer is so men can get breast cancer women can also get breast cancer that's what people don't know about there are men who have got breast cancer so like any other cancer breast cancer has stages and stage one is usually when the lump is quite small like two centimeters in diameter stage two is when it's two to five centimeters in diameter and then your lymph nodes that somewhere around your armpits begin to get inflamed begin to get painful and yeah and stage three is when it spreads to your axillary lymph nodes or your chest walls okay that's stage three and then stage four is when it spreads to distant sites like that can get to your heart your chest your lungs yeah or any other organs that are not so close to this area so what has a no bad day been about i got this question and i thought it would be wise to explain it here no bad day well not wearing your bra won't do any significant uh, not wouldn't even do anything much against breast cancer but you bear with me that wearing the bra is one of the most comfortable things so bra actually was supposed to be an abbreviation okay for breast reconstruction awareness okay it was started by one dr brown to just encourage women who had lost their breasts during um breast cancer or battling with breast cancer to reconstruct their breast and feel 
confident again that's basically it and the no bra day is just the perfect catchphrase <laughs> because because of that a lot of people are realizing that boobs actually matter yes and then it's making a lot more women realize the fact that these are my boobs and I have to be in charge of whatever happens to it. If something happens to it, I have to seek help. I have to be checking up my boobs regularly. If anything changes, then I get help. So enough about so much about the evil things. Now I have some interesting facts about the breast that you need to know. Or some things that you, yeah, you could just keep in your pocket about the breast. So um, the left breast is slightly larger than the right breast. In most more women I don't know why but that's the fact ancient Egyptians were the first to document breast cancer over 3,500 years ago so those saying that breast cancer didn't exist some time back and especially the older folks they say breast cancer didn't used to exist then the first case was recorded 3,500 years ago just that it's more common now it's not like it didn't exist before it existed and then another fact is that the amazon female warriors okay i already said earlier that the breast is m-a-z right and a in um in science or means no or none so m-a-z is um breast and a is none so amazon female warriors those people actually cut off their boobs legend has it that they cut off their boobs just to make sure they can really aim when they are shooting their bows yeah so those people didn't have boobs those female warriors didn't have boobs according to legend and then the survival rate of breast cancer is actually improving so please if you notice anything awkward just to seek help it's not the end of the world is yes, that um some women are taking out their breasts okay just so that they don't get breast cancer yeah it's that serious just because you have breast tissue and your woman makes you more prone to getting breast cancer so they took out their breast tissues and actress angelina jolie doesn't have boobs <laughs> she has boobs but she has actually taken the original thing out she doesn't want to get breast cancer and now the most common surgery on the breast is breast augmentation or breast implants okay so i hope you enjoyed the video thanks a lot for watching tell a brother tell a sister breast cancer is real get your breast examined i'll try and insert a video of self-examination of the breast and i hope to see you on the next video thanks a lot for watching bye